Good morning, folks. NASA launched New Star yesterday morning. It was a successful takeoff for NASA's new Black Hole Hunter. The best article today, found by Thy Always Seek, the link and her video are below. Apparently, magnetism in old stars is slowing them down. This is a mind-blowing article on ancient electricity and where we can take it. Good article here on habitat loss due to sea level rise and another good article here on Chinese meditation and its benefits. Just don't expect any wheat surpluses out of there for quite some time. The financial woes continue. No part of the globe is immune. Our quantitative easing is at six trillion and likely to grow. And this, the financial actions may actually create the requisite desperation the elites have planned for. Let's hope not. We have a newly found asteroid set to pass close to Earth today. By close we mean 14 times a lunar distance, but still a relevant NEO. It might even be visible, but does not appear on the NEO list as of early this morning. A four-pointer was widely felt in Southern California today. We have a locust invasion as well, and a cat in New Mexico has confirmed plague infection. A bit east, the Texas Panhandle got a mini deluge last night, and Dallas will need all day today to count the damage from this hailstorm. About 2,000 miles south of that, another tropical depression has popped up, expected to hit hurricane status before hitting Mexico. The Madden-Julian oscillation is positive, presenting favorable conditions for such development and an excellent research topic for you guys, especially with those conditions hanging around a while. You know the anomaly we are witnessing here, that multiple flatline resonance down at the bottom under 1 hertz? Never seen that before in the induction magnetometer, and look where it starts. Day 1, 1400. I imagine if you could see 1400 here, that's where those lines would start again, and as we come forward, 1400. It appears we have a punctual little anomaly for sure. The facts are piling up for this non-natural causation here. Especially because we have had no six-point quake since these began. The largest was just a 5.7. Very interesting if this continues. Earth has two coronal mass ejections set to strike. This is the first one from 48 hours ago. It's part filament eruption and part traditional CME coming off the southern half of the sun. Yesterday, a long-duration M-flare blasted out another significant CME, kind of three in one, actually. As we look at the Enlil spiral, the Earth is the yellow dot on each plot, and each is seen whacked by the coronal mass ejection. NOAA finally has decided to label this region as dangerous, Beta Gamma Delta. That was at 8 p.m. Eastern Time last night, and this morning the Delta spot is gone, but the Gamma class does remain. I don't think she's done yet. Magnetic Storm Watch begins tomorrow, folks. That's the news. Be safe.